So today we are going to talk about atomic transactions and let's imagine that we have some kind of uh, view function here like creation of student for this model which has student uh, and fields name second name so let's imagine that we have this function here and we create a student with particular name then we add second name and then we change the name to Jackie and let's also imagine for example that we have some kind of error in the middle of our transaction so basically we have this uh, command here we create a student but then some error happens and the rest of this transaction does not happen so basically let's open the shell and see that we don't have any students here and if we call this function create student we get this error but we also can see that we actually created the student named John right here but it might happen that we don't actually want this behavior so uh, sometimes you we want to uh, commit changes to the database only after all three uh, operations are successful so after we create student and change the second name and change the name and basically if an error happens here in the middle of uh, this transaction then we want to abort everything so we don't want this to be saved actually we don't want uh, the student to be created if there is some error in the middle of transaction and for that we need to import this django db transaction and then we need to say transaction atomic or atomic i'm not sure so let's delete everything exit and go back and right now this transaction is atomic so uh, that means that we call this function and again we get this exception here but this time if you are trying to retrieve all the students we get none so though this operation was initially uh, executed uh, but as this transaction is atomic then we actually um, after after facing the exception in the middle of the transaction we just rolled back and uh, we deleted the student that was created so there is other way to do the same stuff uh, for example we can say with transaction like this and basically if we exit and do the same stuff we see that our student was not actually saved so it is basically uh, the, it, it is uh, doing the same stuff as um, as if we would uh, specify here that the whole transaction is atomic uh, so the only difference is that um, you know we can we can use this stuff for example if we have some part of the transaction that that is atomic and the other uh, for example 
is not so i don't know for example the creation is student will uh, should be done anyway but uh, here you know if you have some problems with the changing names then we should abort uh, this stuff so so we can also for example add some kind of exception here for example we can try so we can wrap this atomic transaction in the try accept uh, block here and right now if we exit and now if we try to create student we actually get uh, something that we want to print uh, when we catch exception and we actually didn't save any student here too. 